Welcome back. All right, so what I'm doing tonight is something different. I'm doing the preview for Sunday in between the second and third period of the last two late games, meaning I'm guessing that LA is holding their lead over Vancouver in the third because it probably are. So we have nine games on Sunday, and again, it's hockey all day because this is how the NHL does it now. Um, and it, again, we're only a week and a half from the end of the regular season, right? So we start at 1 o'clock p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific. And it's Buffalo and Detroit. So these are two teams that are below the playoff line, but both looking to get above it. Uh, December 5th, Detroit won 5-3. March 12th, it was a 7-3 win for Buffalo. Uh, March 16th, a 4-1 win for Detroit. So for Buffalo, the 37-35-5, and five. they're four points behind Pittsburgh for that last playoff spot. They have to jump past a lot of teams to get in there, though, and they don't have games in hand on anybody. So they need to help. They need to start by helping themselves tomorrow. Thompson's been their leading scorer over the last month, 13 games, 10 goals, 9 assists, 19 points. Darlene's turning heads, 13 games, 4 goals, 6 assists, 10 points for him. And Cousins, they could use a little more from Cousins, 13 games, 1 goal, 4 assists, 5 points. On the Detroit side, they're 37, 31, and 8 overall. They're 1 point behind Pittsburgh, so they can jump over the playoff line, considering that uh, they and Washington both chasing Pittsburgh could jump ahead. So Kane's been the leading scorer for Detroit over the last month. 13 games, 5 goals, 6 assists, 11 points. Larkin's played 7 of those games. 4 goals, 3 assists, 7 points for Larkin. And Dabrinkit, we've been looking for goals from Dabrinkit for a while, it seems. 14 games, 1 goal, 5 assists, 6 points. And then at 3.30 Eastern, 12.30 Pacific, we have one game starting them between Minnesota and Chicago. Minnesota's won the first two meetings. They're looking for a season sweep. Uh, December 3rd, a 4-1 to win for the Wild. February 7th, a 2-1 to win for the Wild. Minnesota's 36-31-9 overall. Kaprizov's their leading scorer over the last month. 13 games, 9 goals, 10 assists, 19 points. Brock Faber, 13 games, 2 goals, 4 assists for 6 points. Freddie Goudreau, not his year, just the 2 assists and 13 games for Freddie Goudreau over the last month. On the Chicago side, they're 23-48-5. Bedard's been their leading scorer over the last month, tied with uh, Kurashev, actually. 13 games, 5 goals, 11 assists, 16 points for both. Uh, Donato, 13 games, 4 goals, 4 assists, 8 points. He's been productive lately. Athanasiu had a goal. We'll see if he gets another. 11 games, 1 goal, 3 assists, 4 points. He can be streaky. 5 Eastern, 2 Pacific. We have one game starting then. It's Columbus and Carolina. This is the third of four meetings. And for Carolina, they have still that faint hope of maybe catching the Rangers. They're going to need a lot of help with that, and they're going to need to win both games against Columbus. Uh, they've won the first two, November 26th by a score of 3-2, to two, February 29th by a score of 4-2. to two. For Columbus, they're 26-39 and 12 overall. Wierenski's been their leading scorer over the last month, 15, or 14 games, 5 goals, 9 assists, 14 points. Texier, 14 games, 2 goals, 4 assists, 6 points for him. And Brendan Gauntz, he's played all 13 games. He just has the one goal, though, over the last month. Hoping he gets one. Uh, for the Canes, 48-22-7 is their overall record. They are five points back of the New York Rangers for first in the division. Ajo, 15 games, 10 goals, 11 assists, 21 points. It seems like since they started doing this where I'm measuring over the last month, Ajo's always their leading scorer over the last month. Slavin, 15 games, one goal, eight assists, nine points. His offense has been good lately. And Kokanyemi. Uh, a player that we are probably going to be talking about in the offseason as to what's the plan. 14 games, one goal, three assists, four points. You know I'm already trying to figure out what I'm going to be talking about in the offseason, and that's always an interesting discussion. Uh, six Eastern, three Pacific. We have two games starting then, beginning with Arizona and the San Jose Sharks. So this is the one everybody's going to be excited about. So for Arizona and San Jose, this is the third and final meeting. The Coyotes have won the first two. December 15th, it was a one nothing win. December 21st, a 5-2 win. For Arizona, they're 32-39-5 and five overall. Keller's their leading scorer over the last month. 13 games, 9 goals, 9 assists, 18 points. He's playing really well. Bugstad, 13 games, 8 goals, 5 assists, 13 points. Bugstad's enjoying himself. Dersey, not as much, just the 4 assists and 13 games. We'll see if he gets some points against San Jose, who are 18-50-8. And, and they're coming off of a win today. Uh, Granlin, their leading scorer over the last month, 14 games, 3 goals, 12 assists, 15 points. Clem Costin, 14 games for him as well, 5 goals, 4 assists, 9 points. Nico Sturm, the one that hasn't been producing, 2 assists and 14 games for Sturm. 6 Eastern, 3 Pacific start between the Ottawa Senators and the Washington Capitals. These teams have split the first two meetings. October 18th, it was a 6-1 to win for Ottawa. 
uh, February 26th, a 6-3 win for Washington. So Ottawa's 33-39-4 and four after a loss tonight against New Jersey. Kachuk, their leading scorer over the last month, 15 games, 7 goals, 9 assists, 16 points. Uh, Jake Sanderson, 15 games, 2 goals, 4 assists, 6 points for him. Uh, Kubalik, just the 1 goal in 15 games. He had opportunities tonight, didn't go in. Maybe he's due. On the Washington side, they're 36-30-10, and 10, as I previously mentioned. One point back of Pittsburgh in that final playoff spot in the East. Ovechkin, their leading scorer over the last month, 15 games, 11 goals, 4 assists, 15 points. Carlson, 15 games, 3 goals, 9 assists, 12 points for him. And Sandine, just 3 assists in 14 games. So another player kind of due for a goal. 7 Eastern, 4 Pacific. We have two games starting then, beginning with the Nashville Predators and the New Jersey Devils. On February 13th, New Jersey won this matchup 4-2. to two. Uh, Nashville's 44-29-4 overall. They're 8 points back of Winnipeg in that third spot in the division. Forsberg, 13 games, 10 goals, 10 assists, 20 points, is their leading scorer over the last month. Yossi has been very good lately, 13 games, 5 goals, 10 assists, 15 points. Uh, Cole Smith, just the one goal to go with one assist for two points over 13 games. On the New Jersey side, they're 37, 36, and 4. They're five points back of Pittsburgh, and they are in a very similar position as Buffalo, right? Uh, Heesher, 14 games, six goals, 10 assists, 16 points, has been their leading scorer over the last month. Luke Hughes, 14 games, one goal, 11 assists, 12 points. Luke Hughes has been very productive lately. Uh, Palat, not as much, two goals, three assists, five points in 14 games for Palat. Uh, 7 Eastern, 4 Pacific start between Montreal and the Rangers. This is a tiebreaker. Montreal won the first matchup January 6th by a score of 4-3 in a shootout. Uh, on February 15th, it was a 7-4 win for the Rangers. Montreal's 29-35-12 and 12 overall. Slavkovsky is now their leading scorer over the last month. 13 games, 3 goals, 11 assists, 14 points. So it's kind of an exciting time for the Montreal Canadiens because their, their prospects are starting to develop. And you can see how next year should be a better year. Gallagher, 13 games, one goal, three assists, four points. Uh, Pearson has just played six games. He has one assist in that. He had a nice net drive tonight. Uh, didn't score on it, but the opportunities have been there. On the Rangers' side, they're 52-21-4. They're one point clear of Boston and first in the entire league. Uh, Panarin, 15 games, 10 goals, 16 assists, 26 points. Has been fantastic for them over the last month and over the season. Chris Kreider in 15 games, 6 goals, 6 assists, 12 points. So his goal scoring's picked up recently. Uh, Keandre Miller, 15 games, 1 goal, 4 assists, 5 points. I like Miller's game. 8 Eastern, 5 Pacific. We have one game starting then. It is St. Louis and Anaheim. So I'm going out on a limb and saying, after losing in San Jose, St. Louis has to bounce back and beat Anaheim. Right? So... Uh, St. Louis has won both matchups so far, November 19th, 3-1, March 17th, 4-2. So they've been close, but they've won both. St. Louis, 40-32-5 overall. They are seven points back of both Nashville and Vegas. For a wild card spot, uh, they, they can't afford to lose here. They just can't. Uh, Cairo, 14 games, 7 goals, 5 assists, 12 points for Cairo. Uh, for Falk, 10 assists in 14 games over the last month. Not too shabby. Uh, Nathan Walker, one goal, two assists, three points in 13 games for Walker. On the Anaheim side, they're 23-48-4 overall. Kalorn, 14 games, seven goals, one assist, eight points. He is their leading scorer over the last month. Vetrano's hit hard times. 15 games, one goal, three assists for Vetrano. Uh, Ryan Strom, one goal, one assist for two points in 15 games. And so, yeah. Uh, then we go to the 10 o'clock Eastern, 7 o'clock Pacific start. It's Dallas and Colorado. The Abs have won the first three meetings with Dallas, and sometimes it hasn't looked particularly close. Uh, six to three win for Colorado on November 18th, a five to four overtime win for Colorado January 4th, and then a five to one win for Colorado on February 27th. So this will be very telling. Have Dallas really made huge improvements? They're also coming off that loss against Chicago. Be very interesting to see how it goes. Uh, for the Stars, they're 48, 26, and nine. They are three points clear of Colorado. They are five points clear of Winnipeg. The division isn't as decided as it may look in terms of who's going to be first through third. Uh, Jamie Benn, 13 games, 10 goals, 6 assists, 16 points, has been their leading scorer over the last month. Uh, Rope Hintz, 13 games, 4 goals, 6 assists, 10 points for him. Stankoven, a bit of a tougher time getting those goals lately, but in 13 games, 1 goal, 4 assists, 5 points, respectable for a rookie. Colorado, 48-23-6. And, and as I mentioned, three points behind Dallas. They owe a gift basket to Chicago for the victory today. Uh, McKinnon, 13 games, 8 goals, 14 assists, 22 points. Has been their leading scorer. 
Uh, he's only gone without a point in one home game, and I don't see that changing. Uh, Nachushkin, nine games, four goals, four assists, eight points. When he's in the lineup, it makes a big difference. Uh, Duhame, no goals, just the three assists in 13 games. I don't think Duhame has a goal as a member of the Avs. Maybe it happens tomorrow against Dallas. So let me know your picks in the comment section below as always. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you have not done so already. Thank you guys so much for all your support, and we'll talk to you again soon.